Prince Barry Sass, Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream. His dream seems a simple one. Justice, freedom, and the promise that all men are created equal. The promise that is America for all of her citizens. That day, 200,000 people, black and white, young and old, gathered across the National Mall to hear King's words. Many had run out of faith. Many had struggled just to arrive. More had lost hope. He knew that this was a day to inspire change. This was the day the American people would rise above politics, rise above the hate, and rise to the occasion. Martin Luther King was born into a time of fierce segregation. But while parts of the country thought strictly in black and white, King only saw right and wrong. From the beginning, he recognized America as an idea, one that could only succeed if everyone was given a seat at the counter. And just like the Founding Fathers before him, King knew the fight for freedom was not easy. The fight for equality was even harder. Even though the fight was exhausting, the obstacles demoralizing, King firmly stood by his beliefs. In the process of gaining our rightful place, he said, we must not be guilty of wrongful deeds. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. Love, he preached, was the only way to invoke real change. Martin Luther King held strong while his detractors spewed hate. But he had the truth on his side. When he was told to be patient, he said, I have too little time. When jailed for protesting non-violently, he wrote, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. <laughs> the greatness of Martin Luther King was the faith that he had in the American people. We, as citizens, must all carry Martin Luther King's dream in all of our hearts today. The dream is not completed. It's an ongoing struggle, one that all Americans should always be willing to undertake. Like Martin Luther King, we're all born knowing the truth, and the truth will set us free. On August 28, 1963, <laughs> Dr. Martin Luther King awoke our nation's collective consciousness. His message, look at the content of man's character, not the color of his skin. His dream is the American. Today, on this dream, 2010, we stand here in the same hallowed ground as our eyes and our hearts open. We all have the inalienable rights to live in a country with liberty and justice for all.